Welcome to Civil War Digital Digest. I'm Will. Today we're going to introduce you to another way to connect to Civil War history through a new book. Well, before we do, I want to say thanks to the CWDD Coffee Grinders. They're our patrons over on Patreon.com. Many people get together and give a little bit each month, and that allows us to do so much more when added up and to give money to historic preservation. And today, I want to reintroduce you to another patron from the CWDD Coffee Grinders. Author Merrick Bennett is one of our patrons, and we've been excited to read his first two books and follow along and support his newest one. And that's what we're introducing today, The Civil War Diary of Freeman Colby, Volume 3. 1864. In a previous episode, we went ahead and told you about Volumes 1 and Volume 2 and how they were a great way to connect the graphic novel fan and kids to the Civil War. Well, it's been fun to watch Merrick continue to refine his process both as an artist and as a historian and how he tells the stories and which stories he tells us. In the first volume, the volume was strict to the journey of Colby and his diary. In the second one, we started to meet other people and see different stories be woven in. Well, we're going to meet more of the stories of Freeman Colby and his friends in the 39th Massachusetts. We're also going to meet Wilbur Fisk. We're going to meet Harriet Jacobs, one of the first teachers at the Freedmen School in Washington, D.C. And we're going to meet Nurse Sarah Law, who is working in the hospitals for the Union Army in D.C. Finally, we meet Orderly Sergeant Jackson from the 8th United States Colored Troops. This is truly a northern look at the war, but it's becoming wider than the original where it was just one regiment. However, we're all history fans and we want to know where our history comes from. Merrick has made it so we can do that as well. At the end of each segment within the book, he goes ahead and puts brackets in the bottom with an abbreviation. Elsewhere in the book, you can look at what those brackets and abbreviations mean, and it'll tell you what journal, what source, where these all come from. We have a great way to read the book cover to cover and catch a compelling story, or you can dig in and find out where the specific stories come from and know on a primary source level that you're getting good history out of the Civil War. We're thrilled to share this. We're thrilled that it's coming out finally. We had originally recorded this episode to talk to you about Christmas 2022, and then they ran into publishing issues. Merrick wanted to apologize to me and offered to send an extra copy for me, and I said, I've already got a copy. I backed you on Kickstarter to make this happen, and I have the pre-publication copy. We're getting a couple extra copies here, and what I told Merrick we'd do is we'd give them away. One copy is going to go to a lucky winner. Here's how it's going to work. On January 31st of 2023, we're going to draw randomly from everyone on our email list and choose one lucky person, and we'll mail this book to you. Get on the email list. There's a link down below that tells you how to join. There's about 1,500 people there. Add your name to our email list, and let's hope one of you wins this thing, and we'll get it out here for now. If you're wanting the book faster, we're going to put links below how you can order it, how you can support an American author with onshore publishing, and really get yourself a nice piece of connection to the Civil War in a very different way. A graphic novel, a comic book, it's all a story, and history is a story. We hope you engage with it and enjoy it. We'll see you next time.